let's just jump right into the video. So the first thing that you're going to be doing is you're gonna just be doing two running bands starting on your right leg. So you'll do running band on one and two and. So you go one and two and. And like I said, you start on your right leg. So ready man, right, left. Now you have your right leg up. Now you're just gonna be doing two poly pockets on three and four and. So let's rewind. So you have ready man, one and two and three and four and. Okay, now keep in mind, when we normally do our poly pockets, we go corner, middle, corner, middle. On the last poly pocket, the second poly pocket you do, you're not going to come back to the middle. You're going to stay facing the corner. So this is three and four, stay here. Yeah, stay facing the corner. So all together from the back, it would be one and two and three and four and. Yeah, so you can see on four and, my right leg is still up and I'm facing this corner. Super easy. Let's keep going. So we're here on four and. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a kick, tuck, glide. So really quickly what it is, is it's boom, boom, boom. So we're here, our right leg is up. All our leg is doing that is raised is we're just going point, cross, point, cross, point, cross. And I'm not crossing where I'm touching my legs. It's a little bit out, yeah? And all my left leg is doing, my supporting leg is, leg is it's chugging forward, chugging back. So we're going boom, 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 boom. Now remember I said chug, we're not jumping over, we're chugging, chugging, yeah? So we're adding resistance on the floor. So together, when we chug forward, that's when my leg kicks out. Yeah, we chug, we kick. Now my left leg, my supporting leg is going to stay in place while my leg crosses and your toe is going to touch the ground. So you chug, cross, touch. Okay, so with counts, we're here on four and. This is five and, okay? Now notice when I'm chugging forward, I have a slight bend in the knee. We don't ever want to lock that knee out while we're chugging and I even still have a bend in the knee as I'm coming over to cross. This leg, the supporting leg has a slight bend. Okay, so this is five and. On six, we're going to be gliding back. So you're gonna switch your weight from your left foot to your right as you glide, okay? So we're here. You put your weight down on this foot and you're gonna glide this leg back. And you can see when I glide back, my left heel is slightly raised. So this is five and six. Slowly from the back. So we're here for and. We kick five and six. Okay, super slow from the back from the beginning. We go one and two and three and four and five and six. Got it? Okay, let's move on. So we're here five and six. You can see my back leg is raised a little bit because what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to kind of like a perch and the running man, but we're not gonna do a full running man. We're just gonna come here. And you can notice that it's not a full big running man. It's on the smaller side, just bringing it up to perch. Yeah, so five and six and. So that's on six and. So we just did kick, tuck, glide, bring it up. From the back, we do kick, tuck, glide, bring it up. And you'll see when I'm gliding, I'm kind of bending my front leg just a little bit so that I can rebound back up to this position. All right, we are almost done. So we did five and six and on seven, we're gonna be doing another chug. So all my left leg is doing is you're just gonna kick back. Yeah, so we're here, you just boom. And my leg is, my foot is flexed, okay? Kick. Now my front leg is going to be chugging forward. So we're here, you just go chug, okay? So this is five and six and seven. From the back, we did three and four and five and six and seven. So you kind of fall, right? And remember, we're chugging, we're not jumping. Let's keep going. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're going to be doing a heel toe click. So all my 
supporting leg is doing, my right leg, is it's jumping up and it's gonna meet my toes on the other leg. So it kinda has to jump like this. Yeah, and this leg, we just chugged, we're going to be meeting, meeting it in the middle. Yeah, so we're here, we meet it in the middle. Okay, this one's kind of hard to demonstrate, <laughs> um, but we do five and six and seven and. That's on seven and, it's really quick. Five and six and seven and. Okay, so we just did our heel click on seven and. We're up in the air on that and count. We land on eight. Okay, so it's five and six and seven and eight. When you land on eight, you're still going to keep this leg up. You're not going to bring it down. So you do your heel click, you leave this leg up. Because the next thing you're gonna do, you land on eight, you're gonna step on and, just step back. On and one, you're just going to be gliding backwards. So we step down. Now you can see that my heel is not down yet. I just put my toes. As I'm gliding, my heel lowers slowly. Boom. Now my full weight is on my right leg. My full weight. I'm keeping my toes and my heels pretty much on the floor as I'm gliding. My heel might come up just a little bit, but you don't wanna be completely gliding with that pointed foot. Try and keep it flat on the ground, because that's really gonna how, that's how you're going to get that gliding effect, pushing it backwards. So we should do chug, heel click, land, step, glide. And after you finish gliding, depending on what move you do next or what, what the music is like or however you're feeling, is gonna depend on how you really come out of this. But the way I come out of it is I like will land in like a bent leg situation and I'll bring it up and continue going. So from the back, we do kick five and six and seven and land eight and one. So from the beginning, we go running man. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one. From the beginning again, facing the front and I'll go a little bit faster. Ready, five, six, we go. One and two, three, four, five and six and seven and eight, one. Kind of hard to count all of the and counts while you're shuffling, so hope it's easy. <laughs> hope you can follow along. I do wanna go over some arm placements really quick before we end the video, but I tend to follow the follow arm method while I do this. For the running man, I'll do my typical like opposite arm, opposite leg. For the poly pocket, same thing, opposite arm, opposite leg. For the kick, tuck, throw, kick, tuck, glide, I kind of will toss my arms forward. You see how now my arms are doing the same thing? Boom, they come up. I kind of push them down as I glide. They're kind of following what my legs are doing, yeah? So now we come up, my arms come up. We chug, kind of do this opposite arm motion. When we heel click, they kind of come up with it. When we step, and then we glide. So I might do something different every single time. Honestly, like I said, it's just it's depending on the music, how fast it is, the mood I'm in. But typically I will do opposite arm, opposite leg, and I'll just kind of find an arm flow throughout. But don't forget about your arms. They're equally as important as your legs. But yeah, that is the tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that it makes sense to you. Again, this one took me a little bit of time to fully get down, but once you get it down, you got it. So keep practicing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.